Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over how current works for parallel or through parallel resistors. This is the circuit we're going to use, and I am going to go through first conceptually how the current works for parallel resistors or resistors in parallel, and then I'm going to go through and we're going to actually calculate the current through each branch. This is the circuit. We have a 9-volt battery. We have three resistors, R1, R2, and R3. They're all in parallel. You can see this is parallel to this, and this is parallel to this, and those are all parallel. They're parallel because they basically look like they're parallel. That's why we call them parallel. They're not in series. And one is a 7 ohm, then a 15 ohm, and then a 12 ohm resistor. And the way the current works, and the way we usually talk about the current is we have the current that comes out of the battery. We call that IB. I is the symbol for current. B is the symbol for battery, and that's the current out of the battery. The current out of the battery is the same until we get to this node, this junction right here, and then the current splits. Some of the current is going to go through R1, or what we would call branch 1, and we call that I1, current through number one, and then the rest of the current, the remaining current continues on until it gets to this branch and that splits again. Some goes through I2, and then the remainder goes on and what's left is going to go through I, excuse me, resistor, resistor number three, and we call that I3. Now, when the current goes through the resistors, the energy gets used. The current does not get used. Electrons carry the energy. The electrons make it through the resistors. They don't get burned up or destroyed. Their energy gets destroyed, not destroyed, but used. Okay, you can't destroy energy, of course. But the electrons, which are the current, that's what's carrying the energy, they go through the resistors and they come out the other side just fine, except they don't have any energy left. But they all come back together again and they meet down here at the bottom in these places, and then they go back to the battery, and the current that leaves the battery is going to be equal to the current that comes back to the battery. Okay, you don't lose any current. Now, the rule for parallel resistors is this. We started with one current IB. It's split into three branches, so that tells us that the sum of the currents through each branch is equal to the current out of the battery. That's the current, what I like to call the current rule for parallel resistors. And it says, basically, that the sum of the current through each branch is equal to the current out of the battery. All right, so if we just add them all up, we'll know what the current is out of the battery. Or if we know the current out of the battery, we know it's going to be split um, through each branch. Now, these resistors are different, so the current is not the same. If the, all these resistors were one resistance, then the current would be the same, and we would just divide the IB by 3. But they're different, so now we can go through and let's actually calculate the current through each branch. And we're going to use the same circuit. We're going to use Ohm's law of B equals I times R. We want to remember that the total current, I have IT here, it's the same thing. IB, IT, current out of the battery, the total current is equal to the sum of the current through each branch. Now we have to use Ohm's law, and we're going to solve for the current, so we're going to divide each side by R, and we get the current is equal to V divided by R. That's the equation we use for the current. And I have I, I1, V1, R1 because we're going to first calculate the current through branch one, which means we have to use the voltage across branch one and the resistance of number one. Now, you remember in a previous video, we talked about the voltage rule for parallel resistors. And for parallel resistors, the voltage is equal to the voltage of the battery because they're connected in parallel. So in each case, the voltage is going to be the same, which is going to be 9 volts. So we're going to divide 9 volts by um, 7 ohms, and we get the current through branch 1 is 1.29 amps. Now we're just going to do that two more times, making sure we use the voltage and the resistance for branch 2. 0 0.6 amps is the current through branch 2, and of course this should say I3, this is the current through number 3, is the voltage and the resistance of number 3, so it's 9 divided by 12, and you get 0.75 amps. Okay, so we just use the Ohm's law solve for I, V divided by R, and we did the Vs divided by the Rs. The Vs are the same, the Rs are different. Okay? So if we add these up, we'll get the total current, because it says here the sum of the currents is equal to the total. Now let's just see, we can actually go through and check it first. Let's just go through and check it first and figure out, we can actually calculate pretty easily the total current. Using the same equation, but different numbers, of course. We want to calculate the current out of the battery is the voltage of the battery, which is 9 volts. And this RT is the equivalent resistance. It's kind of like this is the total current, the total voltage, and the total resistance. That's the way I think about it. These are the individual ones. In order to get the total current, we have to, of course, use the total voltage, which is the same as the individual ones, because that's the voltage of the battery. 
there's only one battery. But we can't use the individual resistances. We have to use the equivalent resistance, which sometimes I call the total, which, of course, there's another video to calculate, show you how to calculate the equivalent resistance for parallel circuits, because it's not like series circuits where you just add them up. You have to use that somewhat nasty, not really nasty, but that other equation, the one over equation, as I like to call it. So here we have the total current. We're going to put the voltage in there as 9. Now, I did calculate that in a previous video, and that resistance, the equivalent resistance of these three parallel resistors is 3.41 ohms, and you divide and you get 2.64 amps. Now, if we add these up, they should equal this, because that's the current rule. The total current is equal to the sum of the current through each branch. And indeed, if you do, you add those three currents up, you get 2.64. Okay? So that's all there is to it. Um, use the equations, know the rule, have a good idea about how it works conceptually, and I think you can do those problems pretty easily. I like to put all these ones and twos and threes and totals and Bs on here. It just keeps everything straight. So I remember which currents I'm calculating, which voltages I'm using, and which resistances. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you did find that helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much, and we will see you in the next video.